parents, you don't have to wait until your child begins going through puberty changes to start talking about breast development. Beginning at the intermediate age, you can start to talk to them and let them know what to expect, why it will occur, what it may feel like, and how you are there to support them. I'm Kathleen and I make YouTube videos for parents on how to talk about sex and answer sex questions that their child may have. This conversation is aimed at children starting in the intermediate age and before the puberty changes start happening. This won't be a one-time talk. You'll be covering this information over time using a variety of teachable moments to remind them about what's to come. Also that once they start to experience these changes, if something is ever abnormal or they're in pain, that they can come to you and you can see about scheduling an appointment with a healthcare provider. Remind your child that it's totally normal for one breast to develop slightly faster than the other. For many people with breasts, one breast is usually a little bit bigger or smaller than the other. When it comes to breast development, perfect symmetry is actually not the norm. Stretch marks can occur all over the body as a child grows, and this can happen around the breasts as well as the breasts start to develop. Creams and lotions are there to ease some of the stretch marks, but there hasn't been any studies proving a cream or lotion to eliminate stretch marks. During the puberty change of breast development, everybody with nipples may experience some form of soreness around their nipples as the puberty hormones start to kick in. These puberty hormones may make it tender or sore around their nipples, and that's completely normal. Make sure to let your child know that that may be what they're feeling, and if it's ever in pain, that's something that they should let you know because then you can take them to a healthcare provider to make sure everything's okay. When I was going through puberty, I could not wait to wear a bra. I thought it would make me feel so grown up. Nobody ever told me at that time that wearing a bra or not wearing a bra is okay to do. I simply thought, okay, I'm going through puberty, I'm starting to wear a bra, and now I'm gonna have to wear a bra from this moment forward. So parents, it's important, let your child know that there's no proven medical benefit to bra wearing. Some cultures wear bras, some don't. And here is a great opportunity for you to share some of your cultural beliefs around bras. If your child wants to wear a bra or bralette, you can help them choose something that is comfortable and easy to take care of. Your child may embrace the idea of breast development, or they may not. For some non-binary individuals, breast development is not preferred and something they may actively try to avoid. By talking about breast development before it happens can help all children to understand and prepare for one of the very first signs of puberty. When it comes to talking about breast development with your child, it's quite easy to rattle off the medically accurate information and let your child know that it's a completely normal and healthy part of going through puberty. But the more difficult conversations to have are around the sexualization of breasts, discussing breast size, especially if your child is unhappy with their breast size or breast development, talking about breast augmentation and why some people may choose to get breast reductions or breast implants. Those are all interesting conversations to have and are important to have with your child as they grow, but they don't need to be a part of these first couple talks about breast development as they're about to enter puberty. Many children in the primary age will have probably asked some questions about breasts, like why does she have breasts or why is she feeding the baby? And you would have probably talked about breastfeeding or the biological function of breasts with your child in the primary age. Here at the intermediate age, totally great to still remind them about the biological function and let them know that you've already kind of talked about this before, but the focus here at the intermediate age and as they're about to go through the puberty changes is to let them know that they are normal. Your child in the intermediate age may feel more hesitation to come to you and say, my nipples feel sore, or why aren't my breasts growing like so-and-so's as they're comparing their bodies. Going through puberty, most kids feel quite alone and isolated, thinking that nobody else is experiencing what they are going through. So therefore, talking about breast development from the am I normal aspect is going to be very important. And parents, this conversation is not limited just to females. If your child is not experiencing breast development, it's still a great idea to let them know what their peers may be experiencing and help them to have understanding and empathy towards others. Let them know that touching another person's bra without consent is inappropriate. 
and that pulling or snapping a bra is unkind and unacceptable behavior. Just as they are experiencing puberty changes with their own body, so are their peers, and that everybody may be feeling a bit self-conscious about their body right now, and that being kind, empathetic, and aware is the right thing to do. If you want to talk about why do some people develop breasts and the biological function of breasts, I have a video where I do just that and I cover it in the primary age as well as the intermediate, middle, and high school age. And if you're looking about how do I talk about breasts as being a part of sexual pleasure, and that's going to be coming up in the middle and high school age, I do that in that video as well. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Kathleen Heyman. I'll be back next week with another video to help you become your child's primary sexual health educator. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, go on and do that. I'll see you next week.